To convert kilograms per meter to pounds per foot, we will need to use two conversion factors. One kilogram is equal to 2.2046 pounds. And one meter is equal to 3.2808 feet. So let's say if we wanted to convert 2.5 kilograms per meter to pounds per foot. There are two things we need to do. We need to convert the kilograms to pounds and the meters to feet. When you multiply fractions, if you have the same number or variable in the numerator and the denominator of the fractions, you can cancel them out. So we'll want to cancel the kilograms. So we'll place the kilograms on the bottom. We know from our conversion factor that one kilogram is equal to 2.2046 pounds. So now the kilograms can be canceled out. The next thing we'll want to do is convert the meters to feet. So we'll place the meters on the top of the fraction so it can be canceled. From our conversion factors, we know that one meter is equal to 3.2808 feet. So now the units of meters can be canceled. So what we have left is pounds in the numerator and feet in the denominator. So all we have left to do is the math. If the number is in the top, we multiply it. If the number is in the bottom, we divide it. The ones can be ignored. A number times one will leave you with the same number, and a number divided by one will leave you with the same number. So 2.5 multiplied by 2.2046, and then divided by 3.2808, and this is equal to 1.6799 pounds per foot. So we can say that 2.5 kilograms per meter is equal to 1.6799 pounds per foot. I'll show you another way this can be done. So a second method to do the exact same thing. You take your conversion factors and you divide them. So 2.2046 divided by 3.28 Zero 08. This will give you an answer of 0 0.67197. So this number can be used as a conversion factor. So let's try the same problem. If you have 2.5 kilograms per meter and you multiply it by our conversion factor of 0.67 197 over 1. So 2.5 multiplied by 0.67197 equals 16799, the same answer we had before. So this is pounds per foot. So I've shown two ways to get the same answer. So let's try it in the reverse order. We'll convert pounds per foot to kilograms per meter. So if you had 1.6799 pounds per foot, so this time we would want to divide by our conversion factor. So I'll put the conversion factor on the bottom of the fraction. Put a 1 on the top. The 1's are cancelled out. So we're left with 1.6799 on the top. So we'll divide it by the number on the bottom, 0 0.67197. And it gave us an answer of 2.499. Just going to round that up to 2.5. So this is kilograms per meter. So using two different methods, we've converted from kilograms per meter to pounds per foot and in the reverse order.